So in case any of you are wondering how to figure out the length of a rafter, get my calculator. So building addition on my house, it's on my channel that this is posted on. So I have an addition that's 16 foot, three quarters of an inch wide. I don't know how I ended up with the three quarter. That's framing to framing. So I have a half inch OSB on there too. I'm not gonna consider the thickness of that because my OSB doesn't go this high. So this is gonna go right up against the bare framing. <clears throat> so first thing I did, well, I take my, um, so I take half of this, let me get rid of that. So I split this in half, so that's gonna be 96, because I'm going to inches 96 and 3 eighths, okay? Then I have to subtract half of the ridge board. Well, I have to subtract this five and a half, the thickness of my wall, because I want this point to this point to here. So I want this length, the hypotenuse of the triangle. Remember from your school days, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Plus I have to subtract three, three quarters of an inch. So um, if you don't know how to change a fraction to a decimal, it's very simple. The three quarter, well, let's do the three eighths. I know what three quarters. So three, I don't know if you can see this. Three divided by eight, 0.375. Okay. So that's going to be 96 and 375 thousandths. 5.5, as you would know, and 0.75. Okay, so first, 96.375 minus 5.5 for the wall minus the ridge, the, the half of the ridge. It's 90.125. Now, if you want to get that back to fraction, subtract 90, so you have just the decimal there. Multiply it times 16 to give you sixteenths, 2 sixteenths, 1 eighth. So this is 90 and an eighth. Okay, so now I have my length of this side. We'll call this A, okay? So we have 90, we're gonna go back to that decimal for a minute because we're gonna do this squared. Now how tall is this? My pitch is for every foot that I go over, I go up six inches. So I'm gonna take this number, 90 and an eighth, I put 90, and 125 thousandths, divided by 12, the 12 inches, 7.5 decimal, times six, that is the rise. So I end up with 45.0625. So let's get rid of the 45 and multiply by 16. That's 1 16th. So now I know that my ridge board from the top of my wall so the bottom of my ridge board is 45 and a 16. So let's take and put that back. Um, so plus 45 and, yeah, what did I say that was? Um, 90.125 divided by 12 times 6. Oh, yeah. Uh, 0625. Okay, now that's got to be squared. Okay. So 90.125, now if you're not familiar, um, if, you, if these are simple calculators, you can square it easy. You push this thing, it's called a caret and squared, and it equals 8,122.51. We're just gonna stop it at there. Then we're gonna take the next measurement, 45.0625 squared equals 2,000. 30.63 we'll go with. So we add those together. Plus 2030.63 equals 10,153.14. And now we have to have the square root of that. So there's a square root button. You must push the second button first, and it's above that one. And then you put your number there, 10,153.14 equals, so the square root of that is 100.7627, we'll say. Let's get rid of the 100. We have the 0.76 times 16, because 16 is all I care about, 12 sixteenths, 
and 12 sixteenths, which is what? Three fourths, right? 103 fourths. Now we reduce it, divide both sides by four, right? Divide, not multiply. Anyhow, divide. So now we know, I know that my rafter length on this bottom side, this triangle right here, is 103 quarters of an inch. 100 inches and three quarters. That's how you do it. <clears throat> Again, it's not hard, it's simple math. But it's an easy way to not waste lumber. You're buying something longer than you need, especially the price of lumber now. I don't know what they are where you are, but. So this is 86, this is uh, eight foot four, right? Eight foot four and three quarters. So I'm just buying a 10 footer and then whatever my overhang has to be, I'm not going any longer than that. That should be plenty, eight foot four to there, plus this and there'll be six inches or more. That's gonna be nine. I may only have seven or eight inches of my overhang, but I don't care. I'm not gonna buy a 10 footer just so I can have a foot overhang. Um, and I actually will buy some of that lap siding that comes primed, it's got wood grain on it because that's what I have in the rest of the house. I use that for a fascia board because pine is not great here. Um, the sun kills that. Um, the stuff that I'm getting is an OSB base thing. It's, I don't know how good it is, we'll see. So anyhow, that's how you do it. I'm actually using a two by six. I didn't draw this to scale. This is not to scale. I use a two by six for a ridge board and a two by six right here. So I'm gonna keep it flush with the bottom because as you know, when you cut an angle on something, it makes it longer, right, that, that cut. I want a space here so my air my air vent is not blocked with the ridge. I want a good good amount of space there. So that's it. Next, I'll be cutting them out when I get home. So here we are at the lumber pile. I'm gonna cut out a rafter. We just finished this short video. Just so I know and remember when we went through all this. And then ended up with 103 inches. So first thing you wanna do when you're cutting rafters, I'm going to use a pattern, so I want one that's really, really straight. Because once I make mark one, I'm going to cut them all. And then if there's a crown, that means the bow. If the top, the upper part, you mark it, that's the top. Okay. Now I said that there was a, a 612 pitch, so a speed square. And you go on here. We want to get it just as close to the end as we can. So 612 here. Oops, 612 here. Sorry. Should be 22 and a half degrees. No, 27. Alright. Yeah. Either way. 26 degrees. So that's that cut. Then I go in here to the and I always turn it this way, a hundred and three quarters to the bottom of that. I'm going to mark it, but I'm going to check it. Okay, hundred and three quarters. I'm just going to go this way, just to double check, because twice a longer. You know, 103 quarters of an inch. So that's it right there. All right, that's the bottom of our cut. So now if I have, I said it was 20, 26 degrees. So if it's 26 degrees, then what's the angle of that one? Well, it's 90 degrees minus 26. So it's 64. 64 and 26 is 90. So we're going to go down here, way over here, at 64. That's the top of the wall. And then that's five and a half, if you remember, my wall thicknesses. And then this is back to the six pitch on this part. You have to look on the square. This is a six pitch. 
But for a valley rafter, it's over here a six pace, just a little bit longer because it's, um, well, it's at a 45. Well, it's at a whatever degree it is, 45, yeah. So that's it. And I cut my tails off. So this is called a bird's mouth. So I cut my tails off later so I can snap a line down there and cut them all the same. So that could actually really get like an eight inch overhang. I think that, that would be, I'm gonna go with seven and a quarter just in case that soffit material is only seven and a quarter instead of eight. Same pitch, six, one line. You can also use a framing square and do uh, put stair stair tread a stair riser uh, shoot stair stringer um, gauges on.